Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dr. Ahmadu Lamin Samate, Honorable Minister of Health Government of the Gambia. Dr. Yu Juen, Vice Chair of PPD Board and Honorable Vice Minister, National Health Commission, Government of China. Dr. Sita Kumari Arambipola, MP, Honorable State Minister of Health, Government of Sri Lanka. Mr. Amos Lugulubi, Honorable Minister of State for Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Government of Uganda. Mr. Sliman Timio Squidini, Honorable Deputy Minister of Health and Child Care, Government of Zimbabwe. Ms. Diane Kita, Deputy Executive Director of UNFPA, who has other commitments but has provided a recorded speech. Ministers and Vice Ministers in attendance, senior representatives of the United Nations, including from the UNFPA and the UN Office for South-South Cooperation, representatives of the governments of PPD member countries, PPD Secretary staff members, uh, personnel from uh, our government, uh, government institutions, resource persons and experts who will enrich our program, and everybody present here, distinguished guests, good morning, assalamu alaikum. It is my honor and great privilege to welcome you all to Dhaka, Bangladesh for this important South-South event. Indeed, it is an exceptional intergovernmental ministerial platform for peer review, bilateral discussion, knowledge, and best practices sharing, demonstration of policies, programs, and commodities of southern countries. As we all know, 30 years have passed since the landmark International Conference on Population and Development, where world leaders from 179 countries agreed to put individual rights and dignity at the heart of sustainable development, Along with the ICPD-30, Partners in Population and Development, a global intergovernmental organization, completed its 30 years of establishments for promoting South-South cooperation in achieving ICPD program of actions, particularly in the areas of reproductive health, population, and development. The ICPD program of action mainly transformed global thinking on population issues with concern of rapidly growing global population, setting the standard for people-centered development. ICPD-30 and PPD-30 celebrates three decades of achievements and a growing understanding of the importance and significance of population and sustainable development. Achievement of Sustainable Development Agenda or Agenda 2030 would be challenging as long as population development is limited and less prioritized, which include health and population policies and programs, strengthening health system, accessible and affordable quality health care, supply of reproductive health commodities, family planning commodities, essential drugs, capacity building of health workforces. PPD was established with only 10 countries during ICPD in Cairo, but today it has succeeded to rise to the height of 24 countries with representation of 60% global population committed to meet the needs of the present generations. This 21st conference on South-South cooperation in population and development uh, ICPD 30 moving forward is a movement of southern countries to lead up to the summit of the future multilateral solutions for a better tomorrow that will be hosted by the United Nations General Assembly on 22 to 23rd September 2024. PPD is engaged to strengthen global governance through promoting South-South cooperation and they're successful to a great extent with evidence-based development and progress in their countries. However, we must work hard for raising one voice from southern countries through PPD to integrate South-South cooperation as alternative development approach led by 27 countries in the outcome document. PPD should engage through our leaders of the countries in the process of preparation of the outcome document of the Summit of the Future. This motto can be advanced by consensus and commitment of today's conference. We must be agreed on a concise action-oriented outcome document of our 21st conference. I thank PPD and UNFP for selecting Dhaka, Bangladesh to be the host for this historic conference, and I have confidence on PPD and its leaders that they will work to promote integration of South-South cooperation in the outcome document of the summit. South-South cooperation at all levels of people's life is an important tool of development. Such technical cooperation, including knowledge sharing, experts exchange, technology and commodity transfer, best practices, documentation, and scaling up or replication of best practices among developing countries play a catalyst role to accelerate ICPD program of action. Ladies and gentlemen, I must acknowledge in this global forum 
that strong political leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina helped Bangladesh achieve a decade of 7% average GDP growth, crossing the lower middle income threshold in 2015 and meeting all criteria for graduation out of LDC status. The government has adopted Vision 2041. That is a continuation of Digital Bangladesh Vision 2021 and seeks to take the nation to the development path as dreamed by our Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Evidence shows considerable progress was made in population health and nutrition area in Bangladesh. As a result, the population growth has fallen further to around 1.2%. The increase in life expectancy to 72.3 uh, years in 2018 ahead of the target of 70 years is also there. And we have achieved many, many uh, achievements in indicators related to maternal and infant mortality. But still we have a long way to go. Our developing countries' government's main motto is no woman should die while giving birth, which is the guiding principle. Let us consolidate our engagement with solidarity for partnerships within the South-South and Triangular Cooperation Framework. In this process, a number of international organizations, including PPD, the UNFPA, have played very significant roles in providing guidance and support to help achieve the goals of the ICPD 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Different governments may take this opportunity to bring more dynamism in promoting South-South cooperation. For example, Bangladesh government and China government jointly cooperated PPD to implement a project funded by China Aid Fund in reducing maternal mortality in Bangladesh. South-South cooperation work here very effectively to prevent postpartum hemorrhage, which is one of the causes of maternal death in rural Bangladesh. So this project implementation mechanism is evidence for bringing dynamism and effectiveness in promoting South-South cooperation as envisioned in the ICPD program of action. Government of India has also implemented another cooperation project through PPD, which provides primary health care services to 200,000 rural people of Bangladesh. We want such projects to be replicated in other PPD member countries. Political advocacy is required to engage donor countries and institutions for greater South-South and Triangular cooperation. Ultimately, the burden and responsibility to realize development that leaves no one and no place behind within our respective countries is on us. Collectively, we must deliver. I wish you all fruitful engagement and stay in Dhaka. God bless you. Joy Bangla. Joy Bangabundu. Thank you.